Why don't you tell me exactly what you saw? I saw a two-headed guy and a woman in leather. Caucasian? Gray, with tentacles that were coming out of her hands, and she used them to, to rip... skin off of his body. Actually, it's not it's skin. skin. It's, it's a, a protoplasma polymer similar to the gun. <laughs> ADR stand for Automatic Dialogue Recording. It's also known as looping. And there are two reasons you loop. You either loop because on the day of the shoot you were using fans or there was too much traffic in New York or the shot was too wide and the sound guy couldn't get the microphone closer. So you want to replace the actor's sound with cleaner, better sound. May I have your attention, please? Jeff! Uh, uh, excuse my partner, he's new, and, and he's... He, he's new. He, he's new. Will is very funny. It's always great working with him in looping because he'll look at a scene and I'll say, look, can you come up with something better? Yeah, man, back when you was an agent, you used to love getting flushed. Yeah, every Saturday night, you, you'd be like, flush me, Jay, flush me. I'd be like, nah. Uncannily good. Nothing fancy, no heroics by the book this time. Looks like a genius of genius. looping. Idiot savant <laughs> of looping. Without that the savant, the savant part, part yeah. Yeah. Actors hate to loop. This is a really, really dumb job. <laughs> Although Will doesn't mind it because we order a lot of Chinese food and he's fine. It's both thrilling and, and boring. You got a pelvic thrust? Get a little more thrust out of that thing, buddy. <laughs> I don't think they want me to. <laughs> <laughs> and he hurts me and hits me. Come on, what are you doing? What about those pants? Are they velour? Are you trying to get dropped <laughs> on the first reel? I know, that's why I touched your shoulder. You know. <laughs> like oh, you didn't cut the kidney. <laughs> OK, oh, yeah. next. <laughs> sometimes you get to make the movie better because sometimes you can add a line of dialogue over their shoulder. Oh no, a 600 foot worm, save us, Mr. Black Man! To change the plot or to have a joke. You're not alone in the universe. Remove the arm. Okay. One of us is going to remove that arm. Good choice. Never touch me. Uh, get off. This might be one of those ones to come back to tomorrow. Yeah, you never yeah. know. Yeah. Okay, here's And then the, the week after. <clears throat> oh, no, <right. laughs> And then, Will, can you record something in your studio yeah, and send it to me? Yeah, sound a little less black. <laughs> How come you never give Tommy that note? <laughs> I'm afraid of Tommy. <laughs> Reason for visit? Education. I really want to learn how to be an underwear model. Laura Flynn Boyle was typical Laura. Can I just do it? Very ironic, sarcastic. So kind of sort of food in my throat, right? Yeah. Mm. That's the idea. I just did a little more looping with her last night. OK. Oh, <laughs> sorry, but so you know it's to distract me so I don't pay attention yeah. to what I'm doing. He thought that would work. Because yeah. I'm ditzy. <laughs> OK. I've been lucky on this movie with looping. The light of Zartha's here, Ben's Pizzeria. Fiesta. <clears throat> here we go, one more. The light of Zarth is here, Ben's Pizzeria. Let's take out Ben's Pizzeria. Take it out? Yeah, so it's the light of Zarth is here. Take nine. The light of Zarth is here. I think that's good. How did you? I was told that you wanted to replace the line, two slices of pepperoni and any information about you might have about the light of Zartha with something like, I'm going to count to six. Notice one has four words and one has 18, but. <laughs> Juno Ellis has done like every movie uh, with me uh, looping and uh, or ADR and she's very good, she's very patient. Moving on. Okay, so to that the is the second. end of this real one. <laughs> In about one. four weeks, we'll give you a call. And now we're going to You'll put up Mediterranean. the <laughs> real three. Just a sense of comfort working with Juno, because we've done it 
so many times and she knows that I'm gonna change things at the last second and she's really patient with me. And I got as gas. Alts. <laughs> and the other but two cues pain. here are omits. And now we have to put up I have gas pain. <laughs> the newest real three. I will not be ignored, <laughs> Juno. <laughs> I'm very sorry to hear the you guys. Okay, thank you. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. One day on the job and I'm running up a dead fright quite as lost. Oh, God. Frank Pug is played by Tim Blaney. He's really smart and funny, and he doesn't shave enough, so there's always a little bit of stubble. He, he sort of looks like Frank a little bit. Ah. We write a lot of stuff for Frank, and then he throws out his own ideas. Trapped like rats in a chia pet. It's totally collaborative. The process of putting and working on a film, puppeteering, doing voiceover, it's just more fun than you can think of. It's, it's like a dream come true. What do we got? There's a phosphorus residue on the wall and floor. We've sent samples back to M for analysis. Hey, Jay, zero percent body fat. <laughs> Good, so let's make that to select that okay. other one, the off. You tell the girl you love her? I'm supposed to take advice on love from a dude that chases his own ass? Hey, easy, pal. That's canine profiling, and I resent it. While I think he would like to be the major figure, I think he's looking for a pug in black to be his next feature. Lose the suit. Sure thing, partner. No problem, Emil. Just going for the look. But if I say so myself, I do find the overall effect very slimming. Whoa! Who are you, and how'd you get in here? You like egg salad? I had just worked with Johnny Knoxville on Big Trouble, and I loved working with him. He lost a bet with Lawrence Kasdan, <laughs> and that's how I got in both these films. You know, Johnny was uh, actually very good in looping, but he was very shy when the cameras came around. I had to close my eyes so I don't see these bastards. I thought he was a really great actor. Not a personality, just a great actor. Please, shut up, sir. I'm tired of you constantly talking behind my back. Yeah, yeah, you'll figure out how to do this. <laughs> Take your good. time. You know, the first couple hundred. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just <laughs> had to. Just a real confidence builder, yeah. Mr. Seinfeld. Yeah, that's yeah. me. Please shut up, Charlie. I like that shut up. Want to try one more and then we move on? One more version? Please shut up, Charlie. I'm tired of you constantly talking behind my back. But that's pretty good. You like that yeah, sound? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, like that. Like you're gonna pick up a girl off the line. Wanna come back to my place for some tonsil hockey and egg salad? What an ass. Good. How about now? Do it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's wild, Johnny. Do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't Let's had a drink now today. Do it. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. And yes, we're rolling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got this. Okay, let's stop. <laughs> so